الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبة في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May Allah Azza wa Jal bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat. And may Allah protect us from kulli su wa makru. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from any and all kinds of evil. May Allah Azza wa Jal cure the sick from amongst us and increase the rizq from the poor from amongst us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to provide for us and may he strengthen us all with strong Iman. Ahabatu Fillah. I was thinking about the situation of the oppressed. And as one of our brothers sent something about what China is doing to the Muslims there and trying to wipe out their identity, trying to destroy any. Islamic signs of Islam anything that threatens their their religion which is communism and is just a sick secular system based on kufriyat or shirkiyat by worshipping the state so they are oppressing our brothers and sisters so you ask yourself, how can you help? What can you do being on the other side of the world? Well, there's one thing that is a powerful weapon, which most of us don't realize and most of us don't use. And we forget, we're human, we forget. But the Zakirin wa Zakirat, those people who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often, they realize this and they use this. And I'm talking about the weapon of the du'a, of supplication. If we look at the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the hadith in which the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I believe it's when he sent Mu'ad to Yemen to give da'wah to Ahl Kitab. He said, it took a dawa to Madhloom. It took a dawa to Madhloom. Fear the supplication of the oppressed. Meaning that the oppressed have a place with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-adl. He is the most just. And there's no comparison to any justice we find in the creation. To the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the muqasateen. He loves those who are, who are just and, and good on righteousness. And he does not like the volimim, those who are oppressive, wicked, transgressing, transgressing sinners. And so when the Prophet ﷺ said, took a da'wah to Madhloom, and that between it, because between that da'wah, that da'wa, meaning that, that du'a, that supplication, and... And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that there is no hijab, there is nothing preventing it, there's no prohibitor, there's no barrier, meaning it is accepted. So that means, if we pray for our brothers and sisters who are oppressed, and likewise they supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost, that this is, a, this is problematic for the Chinese state, in that those leaders, 
those wicked Vali means. They have something that they, they're going to have to contend with with Rabbil Alameen, with the Lord of the world. That their false god of communism, based on the worship and the idolization of communist party figures and the state, that all of that can crumble and fall as we see the decay of this root, the roots of this tree. This once was a tree. And amazingly enough, alhamdulillah, another tree grew out of this giant tree, out of this stump. But the point being, ahabatifillah, look at what's left of this. Likewise, Allah Azza wa Jal can crumble and cause the decay and the complete destruction or wiping away of the Communist Party and the Chinese state. So it's important for us to use this weapon to ask that Allah Azza wa Jal destroys their oppression, reforms them before they have the destruction of the people of Ad wa Thamud and are wiped off at the face of the earth with nothing left of them and all of their glorious history, that it's gone, that they are nothing but something in the books. And it could be simply because they oppress the believers. In the Ladina, verily those who who oppress the believing men and believing women for them is a is Jahannam. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty, to lift the oppression from our brothers and sisters wherever they're being oppressed and wherever they're being harmed and prohibited from worshiping you, Ya Rab. And we ask that Allah Azza wa Jal protects us all from the shar and the kufr and the shirkiyat of the valimin, wherever they may be and however they try to implement their plans of kufr and deceit. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala Nabiyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi Wa sallam